Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. Happy Monday. I am so excited to show you a fantastic 2024 Dutch Star today. Uh, Jody, as usual, I love to start my videos from the inside out, so please go ahead and take her on back. Uh, today we are filming uh, live from Frederick, Colorado at Trans West Truck Trailer RV, a fantastic 4369 floor plan Dutch Star. This is the number one selling floor plan in all of North America. The Dutch Star, of course, is the first level where you get into things like more floor, where you are without any carpet at all. Uh, this is a bath and a half model. Uh, this has the fantastic driftwood high gloss interior, which was introduced in 2023. We also have a really nice uh, availability of being able to control all of our lights, uh, monitor all of our tank levels, um, a lot of great things with your HVAC systems and fans, floor heat, all from the touch of a button on your phone. So really excited to show you through this new product. And this has the new Stratton interior, which replaces the Camelot. There was a lot of uh, word on the street that people liked that traditional Dutch Star villa furniture, the handle that the uh, couches had, that the furniture had. And so this year, the Stratton is here and it is fantastic. I can't wait to show it to you today. Uh, but first, let's start off by our 50 by 34 inch shower. So of course, this is one of the things that makes the Dutch Star so, pop so popular. And as you'll see, we have towel bars on the outside of the shower door making it really convenient to take your towel before you get over here to your robe hook. And you'll notice this robe hook is just a little bit darker than this polished nickel. And that is the same, uh, same theme throughout the entire coach. All of your faucets are going to have this really nice dark metallic finish to them. Uh, so I wanted just to bring up, this is the shower miser system uh, known as Aquaview. Uh, the shower miser system gives us the ability to have uh, hot water in the shower before we get into the shower. And what I mean by that is you run a basically um, recycle feature here from your 105 gallon hot water tank back into your hot water tank behind the scenes. And then when it's time to take a shower, you just flip this over and the water that will be coming out of this adjustable rain head will be hot water as opposed to cold water. And that's when your gray tank will start filling. So really nice uh, feature of this coach. Uh, you've got a 75 gallon gray water tank on this coach and a 60, I'm sorry, 55 gallon sewage tank. So when you only have 75 gallons of gray water, you don't want to waste uh, water filling it up while you're waiting for the water to heat. So this Aquamizer system is fantastic. Um, as you can see, this is on the slide. So you do have the ability to change the height of this, which is great. You can aim it at you. And if you'd like to sit down on this teak bench, it supports up to 250 pounds. So super cool feature, great way to be able to wash your feet or shave your legs at the end of a nice long hike. Uh, if you wanna get cleaned up before you go out to dinner, this is a great way to be able to uh, get ready for the end of your day. Um, now note back here, I do have uh, one of the shades deployed. These are power shades throughout the coach. Uh, the MCD power shade package is an optional package and it's just controlled here in this room by the touch of a button, which is nice you don't actually have to have the remotes with you you can control it there and then if for any reason at all you need to escape out of the rear of the coach you can do that here and you can also uh, use this to hand out your laundry uh, and hand in linens uh, any kind of supplies that you have you know while you're getting ready for camping now this is another reason that this 4369 is such a popular floor plan take a look at all of this shelving space Okay, this looks nice, right? But it's a little bit precarious to get to since it's poised above the toilet. Well, no problem, folks. Just pop back here. You also have side access. And you'll note that in this closet, not only do you have all of the shelves, you've got this deep recess. And then because this is a side radiator coach, you're able to have a whole entire back end and you can have a shoe closet uh, to put things in. And I love the way Numar did this this year. You'll note that there are different sizes, which is awesome because before you were relegated to certain size boxes, no longer. You can use this for whatever you'd like. And then of course you have all of the shelving all the way up top and your 
hanging clothes can go the whole length of this if you like them to because you do have adjustable shelves here on the left and over here on the right. We also see here we have our optional safe. Um, so this is a ton of closet space. And the funny thing about this closet space is there's two additional wardrobes in this coach as well. So you're really gonna have the ability to go out for a long trip in this coach and have everything at the touch or at, at arm's reach. Very easy, no having to put everything under the bed or in you know totes underneath the coach. You can keep all of your clothing both for the you know warmer and cooler weather all inside of the RV. Now you'll note here I'm standing on this step cover. Please note that this is also heated. Uh, that is a great advent. Numar changed that back in I think 2021. Uh, so you do have a three zone heated floor, but that heat is going to be incorporated into even the step cover. And of course that's important because that's kind of where you're gonna be standing when you're near the toilet. Uh, now here, You'll note in 2023, we did do a total facelift of the interior. We introduced these beautiful glass undermount sinks. Again, just really accented by this dark faucet and all of the dark hardware. And you have that same fantastic, huge medicine cabinet that we've known, uh, grown to love. And again, all of these little shelves are carpeted. So this is great, no rattles going down the road. Uh, dual vanity. Also, you've got three nice full extension soft closed drawers and then a ton of cabinet space. So great place to keep linens, great place to keep extra towels. And then down below this, you'll see we have one of our really nice uh, light features. So these courtesy lights, you can turn on just those courtesy lights at night. So you'll be able to very comfortably get around uh, the coach. Now, Jody, don't think that you're going out yet, buddy. We're trading places. We've got one last feature to show. Um, so actually two. Let me take that back. First and foremost, you have all of your KIB switches, which are really nice and illuminated here. You've got one for your fan. You've got your ceiling lights, all of those things. You also have, uh, this is going to be for your aqua hot light. And then you have here your floor heat. Uh, but more importantly, we have a really attractive and fantastic cameraman named Jody right there in our full length <laughs> dressing mirror. Come on out, Jody. You can come out now. All right. So we talked a little bit about more floor. Again, one of the nice features is over here on this slide. We are looking at a floor that is heated in this zone, but it's also heated over here next to your wardrobe. So if you wanted to have your floor warm and your air conditioning on, you could do that so you could have that great night of sleep but not have cold toes when you get up in the morning. Um, and then here you'll see, oh, here, hold on. Let me just do the touch of a button here all night. Up, oh, we've got our MCD power shades. But I wanted to show you that this is what it looks like here at our bedroom because we have this exterior carefree awning deployed. And I can just push this button right here and bring that up and in. So if I want to have a little bit of shade, but I don't necessarily want to impede my view, I can change the amount of pitch that I have on this shade. That's a really nice feature. And then as I mentioned earlier, with your MCD power shades, what's so cool about this is I can push all day and put down my day shades. And as you can see, I have all my shades dropping on either side of my bed. And then also anywhere here in my bedroom, I have a second remote that is going to be for the front. Now, while we're in here, we've got to talk about lighting. So one of the features I like, Jody, stay right there. I'm going to just go ahead and do some fun things. I'm going to go into the bedroom and I'm going to turn everything off except for the accent lights. This is such a beautiful feature. So if you can see this now, this is one of the features that they changed last year. I just love the way this accent light looks in this coach. If you want to be able to get around your coach, and have some illumination, but not have it be completely bright. That is a fantastic way to do it. Now in our higher end coaches, we have those KIB switches, the black ones that are rectangular that you can slide up and down to change the brightness of your lights. Well, here in the bedroom, if I want to go ahead and turn those off and hold this button for the ceiling lights, as you can see, I can dim my ceiling lights. So not only do I have a high low feature at my KIB switch here on the wall, I also have the ability with my either app or here and my 10 inch monitor to be able to dim my lights throughout the coach. That's a great feature. Um, 
Now, as you can see here, we've got this lovely tufted headboard. Uh, if I want to be able to see it a little bit better, I can go ahead and just turn on my reading lights. Um, I mean, you can really get the wow factor out of this coach. Uh, now underneath here, you've got your water bottle storage, uh, your, your sultry novel storage, but also there's a pass-through or a cutout that goes to your two 110 outlets and your USB ports. And what's nice about that is if you've got a CPAP machine, you can run that out and have it at your heart rate or below your heart level. Or if you want to have it above your head, you can have it here plugged into these 110 outlets. And there's grommets over here underneath so that you have an exit point. It's interesting, one of our competitive manufacturers uh, that we carry here at the dealership added a outlet up top for your CPAP machine, but there's no holes going out of the cabinet to run those cords. So it's important. Numar is really good at kind of seeing and thinking of all of the little nuances that are important. So for instance, here you have your nice drawer. Here you have your cabinet to integrate your 43 inch smart TV. Um, your HDMI wiring is all in place, so all you got to do is plug that in. Um, and then you'll note that here on this other side where we have the cabinet here, you still have access to the entire drawer because there's actually an extension to the slide. It comes out all the way. So again, Numar is just so good at remembering all of these little nitpicky details that make everything better. Um, now, I know we already saw this beautiful decorative ceiling, but that was a change for last year. Um, one thing that didn't change, these nice super solid pocket doors. Um, and when I say super solid, they're thick. They're definitely going to be able to insulate you from noise. If you've got someone who wants to stay up, maybe play some cards. Maybe the kids are watching the last, you know, Harry Potter movie and it's a little bit longer than you expected. Um, great, no problem. You guys go to bed. They've got their 50 inch up here. You've got your 43 inch out here. No problem. Now, as we enter this galley, we have this 19.7 cubic foot refrigerator. Um, so most refrigerators are just 18 cubic feet or even smaller, 19.7 cubic feet is absolutely huge. But they have all of these little accessories like this little tilt out. So if you have barbecue sauces that you wanna be able to store that are a little bit taller, you put those in first and then pop it back into place. They have this little removable shelf. So if you've got taller liquids that you wanna keep in the refrigerator, you can a nice meat and cheese drawer. And then you have this full extension deep freezer with an ice tray and tons of storage underneath. So really, really nice refrigerator. Uh, there is a water filter here inside and that is for your door water. Right here. And then just to the left of that, you're gonna see our pantry. So really love the pantry space inside of this coach. Uh, one of the nice changes that we made in 2021 is we went from having a system where there's a button up top to lock this in place to a push to release. So you have this push to release and what's so nice about this uh, push to release system is when you have heavy things in here, if this is locked and I'm really pulling on this right now, it's not gonna come out when I take a turn. Uh, and for those of you who have had that experience, that's really assuring. So you have this nice uh, push to release system. This cabinet at the end of the day ends up becoming more decorative than anything else because all of those items will stay in place while you're going down the road. Uh, now, as I mentioned earlier, we have, uh, this is a sniffer by the way, we're looking for carbon monoxide, temperatures, things like that whenever you see little things like this. Uh, that's the function there, that's why it's, por it's got porous little holes. Uh, but this little 10 inch monitor here really revolutionized the interface that you have because of its ability to pair. So you can pair this to your phone and when you do, you can turn your water pump on and off. You can monitor all of your uh, fresh and gray and black water tanks. Again, fresh water of 105, gray water of 75 and a black water tank of 55 gallons. You can turn all of your lights on and off. You can put your TV up or down with a touch of a button. You can also go in here and monitor your power. You can set up your automatic generator start feature here as well, or note that your generator is running. Check your battery charge. You can control your floor heat for your front, middle, and rear sections. You can control the kitchen exhaust fan, the stool room exhaust fan, and then the bathroom exhaust fan all here. You can also control your HVAC system, and you can also control all of your lights. Not only can you do that, but here with your HVAC system, you'll notice that we're also controlling our Oasis system here. So you see AC1 and AC1 and 2. AC1 is going to be a single element. AC1 and 2 is going to be a dual element running off of 50 amp 
or running off of your generator. The burner system is running off of the coach and you do not need to have your generator running to run the burner system. This is a great way to get hot water in your coach though. If you're running AC one and two, but it's really cold outside and you wanna take a super hot shower, throw that burner on, you won't believe what happens. But keep in mind also, these heat elements are not only heating your water in your coach, but they're also heating a tube of liquid that goes underneath the exterior of the coach uh, your bays are thermostatically controlled, so you can actually make sure that you have the control that you need in your bays. So here I've got them set, I've got my interior and exterior set to 60, uh, not, it's 69 degrees, I've got the temperature set to 68, running one of my three air conditioners. Well, that's great and all, but what happens if my bays are at 29 degrees? Well, then you would have a problem with your water pipes bursting. In this coach, because you've got thermostatically controlled bays underneath, uh, you can go ahead and take this into those colder temperatures and still have piping hot water because everything's intact the way it's supposed to be. All of that being said, it's very important to understand your OASIS system is not controlling your floor heat. Your floor heat is a uh, heated element throughout the floor. It's an electric element, so it's not using any kind of liquid in it which makes it very easy to identify or repair if you've got a broken element. They can literally go in with a tool, figure out where that connection's broken and pull that tile and replace just that element. Very different than some of our competitive manufacturers that we don't carry here. Um, and if you are curious about that and you'd like to talk more about it, of course, you're always welcome to uh, reach out to me. I will show you my phone number and contact information at the end of this video. Uh, so here is the uh, day and night shade pulled here, just so you can see what the difference is. But again, I can put these up and down with just a touch of the button without having to have the remote because of course you may not have the remote with you when you're in the loo. Look at all of this storage up here, so much room. And what's nice about this, uh, this room here is that you can use this for things like kitchen towels and any of the little items that you might not have enough room for in your kitchen. So hand towels, uh, and the like can be kept here as well as any kind of your backup stuff if you've got you know extra few bottles of olive oil or things like that that you want to keep um, you know for me when we travel we have uh, a big trip planned I think we're leaving my RV uh, my superstar is leaving uh, on the 28th of November and will not be home until sometime next year um, so all of those extra supplies that you might want to take with you you can keep in these cabinets in here and then here you'll see we have kind of the brains of the operation. So really nice access to, uh-oh, there it goes, to our breakers. Everything is very well uh, written. As you can see, I have a, my, my new house, someone hand wrote everything and I have a really hard time reading it. So the fact that they take the time to use a label maker to label all of these, uh, these this whole panel is so nice. And then you've got your uh, breakers for floor heat one and floor heat two. Again, so as you can see, they're on GFI, but they are very clearly labeled. Uh, same thing goes, there's a map here to all of the fuses in this fuse panel. And we do have spare fuses, not only here, but up front as well. So this coach is, uh, again, got three fans and also three 15,000 BTU air conditioning and heat pumps. So you've got heat pumps, heated floors, and hydronic heat. All sorts of great things to keep you warm. And then a nice drawer here. And I wanted to talk about this in the back. I didn't have a chance to, so I'll just show you here. I love the way they've changed this Dometic this year. You're still gonna have the light that will change colors if you're getting close to being full, but you can tell when you've got your fill and your flush button. Um, in my coach, they're almost impossible to see at night so you to actually turn the light on. And of course we don't wanna do that. So a few little extra compartments here. And I don't know if you've noticed this, but as we've gone through this, we haven't had any clanking because Newmark goes through and adds these little chains at all of the wardrobe closets, anywhere where they think that there might be a clank against uh, the wall, they either do that or they put one of those little plastic white stoppers. Um, I love this beautiful vessel sink. When you have a small sink, just that little bit of extra width is so nice. Uh, to be able to give you, um, you know, if you want to use this as your get ready station because you're the person who gets up and makes coffee, this is a great little advantage. And then what a nice place to put in a 10x or 5x mirror and be able to do your makeup, tuck your eyebrows, all those things that you do when you're out on the road for the long haul. Um, if you're not seeing your esthetician on the regular, you can be your own esthetician here in the Dutch Star, which is super awesome. Um, so down here you'll see we have 
our central vac. So that's gonna be for your hoses and then down here, this is your kick plate. Now just open that up and turn it on. Great way to uh, get dust and debris out of the coach since it's an all tile floor. You really don't need those hoses um, unless you're vacuuming like your husband or your children, which can happen. So uh, those hoses you can keep outside where you can use them to clean off your paddle boards and stuff. Now I love, this is a 2023 and newer feature, our nice dark mounted undermount farm style sink with a smaller uh, sink on the left or on the right and a larger sink on the left. And I did open these up just so we could show those. You still have that fantastic spray and pour feature with this coach. Also great place again, for keeping your balsamic vinegar, your olive oil, if you've got to keep Pam or anything like that, uh, Crisco, you know, if you're making cookies, all those things can fit in here. And again, Newmar does not miss any opportunity to make things efficient. You can reach all the way to the back of this cabinet by pulling this out. Um, and then you've got a great top shelf and these shelves are again, adjustable. So really, really nice feature there. Um, I am gonna go ahead and cover this just so you can see how this, how much uh, counter space we have here. Uh, but before I cover the induction cooktop, I wanna show you one of my favorite features. And when I make uh, breakfast in the morning, almost always we are outside making our bacon and our French toast. So I love the fact that this is removable. It's one of the best selling features. Um, and then also, as you can see, I could have my cutting boards here on the top, or I could have just plain counter space because you've got them on either side, they're reversible and they just drop here into this pocket. And then you have so much counter space. Uh, the total depth of this counter at the narrowest interface is gonna be just about 32 inches, so deeper than a standard counter at home. And then your overall length is really impressive on this counter. You have a total of 82 inches of uh, length on this counter. So a ton of prep space uh, for anyone who likes to cook. On the uh, Dutch Star, What's so nice about this pop-out island is that it's just about two feet long. It's actually a little bit longer than that, but 17 inches wide. So wider than some of the similar models. And when you get these drawers, you'll see they're full extension. And again, everything is soft close all the way in, all the way out. And then there's a button up here. You push this, pop it in, it slides closed. There you go. Now, as you can see, I've got my 50 inch television deployed. This is again, a smart TV with your Bose sound bar. We still have all of your telematics available up here. So if you want to run uh, your Xbox or if you want to have a DVD player, you're welcome to do that. It's all pre-wired for you for inside and outside. And then tons of room up here as well. And again, this is that new driftwood high gloss um, cabinetry. These are solid maple. Uh, cabinets, they're really nice. This panel here is raised, it's super thick. Uh, the quality of anything that comes out of it seems the Amish community is always fantastic. And then for those of you um, who want to have theater seats, you can have theater seats. For those of you who want to have a full length couch, you can have a full length couch. One of the nicest things about Numar is your ability to change this coach to be what you need it to be. Now, one of the reasons I like this setup with a jackknife is because if you do have big dogs or little littles and your kids coming to go camping with you, this is a great place for the dogs to have their own couch. You can put the big dog beds up here. You can have your own human couch over here. Or if you have company, now not everybody wants to have company when they're camping. But if you want to have company, you've got two seat belts here, you've got three here, and then you've got two in the front. So you've got a total of seven seat belts in this coach. And I'm gonna just pop this bad boy out. This is the coolest idea. Um, you know, the hide a bed sofas are really popular. I always say you can throw an air mattress on the floor. Really, you don't need an articulating bed. But if I threw an air mattress on the floor for my mom, um, I would be sleeping on it. <laughs> she would not be sleeping on the air mattress. So for those of you that are having company that want to have maybe a little nicer sleeping accommodations, one of the best things about this coach is the fact that you could actually take this entire bed. I'm not really showing off the amount of room you have to sleep here, Jody, just so you know, 
We're not, this is not a, this is not how you would, this is the lazy man's way of stacking the cushions, folks. Um, the way that we put ours in is we actually stack them very neatly up front and then we pile them on the driver's seat, but we're not doing that right now. So, if you had though, oh, come on. It knows that I'm short, Jody. It does, it just knows that I'm short. Okay, if you had company and you wanted to have your kids sleep here, even if you did have a tall son or son-in-law, very easily sleep here on this very comfortable mattress. As you can see my head's not coming off, my feet aren't. I'm not the best example because I'm not very tall, but if you were in the fetal position or the side position like most people sleep, you could have a really tall person very comfortably on this bed and still have two pretty tall kids over here. And you've got that walking room, which means if you get up in the morning, people are still sleeping, you can get up, leave your bedroom, come through without disturbing anyone and head outside and start making breakfast again on that outdoor uh, induction cooktop. So super easy to put away. Woo, make me look like a pro. Um, and as I said, really neat setup. Now, again, you can choose recliners, you can choose theater seats. Um, I do love this couch option because you could very easily have four people on this couch and then turn these two recliners around and then have this as a couch. You could have a big party in this coach, have all of your friends over, and then, um, you know, at the end of the night, have whoever needs to spend the night, maybe not drive home, be able to spend the night if you needed to have extra sleeping accommodations, they're there for you. Um, so of course we're not gonna use them all the time, but it is, it's just handy to be able to have some of these things available to you. Um, now on the note of having company, if you're like us, we are constantly playing board games like Parcheesi, Monopoly. Um, another thing I like to do is use these cabinets to store things in those little plastic shoe boxes that you get from the container store. Um, so you can like label everything, but tons of room up here for any of your extra goods and things like flashlights and batteries, you know, all the stuff that you have to take with you when you go camping, bird books, books on flowers, books on campsites, books on hiking trails, all those little things that you want to have with you when you're out on the road. Now you will note that I do have the day shades deployed throughout this coach right now. So really nice feature. But one of the nice features that differentiates the Dutch Star from the Ventana is your ability to open and close your windows. Again, with just the touch of a button, push this button, everything comes up or everything can go down. Now you can control these individually as well. I also wanted to show you we have that power carefree awning package outside. Again, these power awnings are so nice uh, because you don't have to go out with a little tool to deploy them. And then I also wanted to show off this great area. So if you were having one of those theoretically big parties, you could use this table. There's an 11 inch extension that goes into this table so you could make it big enough for four people. Or you could take this table, put it in the back, use this as a buffet. But if it's just the two of you camping and you wanna stop and have a desk area, there's a plug here for your computer. So you can actually plug that in. And underneath here, you'll find, again, plenty of room to keep your printer. And then this drawer is designed to have your cord run through so you can have your computer here to your printer. There are two 110 outlets here with USB ports and then on the other side as well. And then on top of that, we have a file cabinet or drawer space, depending on how you'd like to use it. So again, this is a really nice setup where this buffet has a removable table so you can have a full desk here or a full buffet here. And it doesn't come just with the one chair. It does come with two. And then again, another nice 11 inch extension. Uh, this space up here to me seems like it cries out for coffee cups, but you know, um, and glassware. That's kind of where I would put that. Now I am gonna show this uh, section folded in as well, but before I do, let's finish showing off this kitchen. So here underneath, 
One of the nice features that we have with the Numar, again, these extendable slides are so cool. You can keep all your cleaning supplies back here. Um, you've got plenty of room uh, on the left-hand side for your, uh, your, co your covers for your uh, kitchen, whether you're using your sink covers or your stove covers. We also have a really fantastic Fisher Pickle dishwasher and then a nice silverware drawer clad with the remotes for your sleep number bed. So this is a sleep number bed. Now I am going to, Jody, if you don't mind, just step back a little bit. I'm going to pull this back in. So I wanted to show this out today just so you could see uh, what the, you know, what it looks like when it's out. Uh oh, hitting that grommet right there. Uh, but also just to show you, it's really easy for one person to actually be able to do this. Just get over that little plastic grommet and then let me just get this back in just a little bit more. You tuck this in. So if it's just the two of you, you don't have to tuck it in all the way. We are today just so we can show walking space, but all the way tucked in or even partially out. You put your chairs here. They rest very comfortably on top of that more floor. And then we're going to show you the walking space when you have this configuration, because this is a really nice configuration for people who are trying to get down the road and get to their next spot without stopping. So I'm going to show you the floor coming in. Again, this is a hydraulically controlled slide. That's what's giving you your more floor. I am operating both at the same time. And on this coach, that's the right way to do things. So in the Numar world, they like to have all four on the floor when you deploy and retract your slides. In the Renegade world, they actually prefer that you have your, uh, your, your jacks deployed. So this does have the HWH hydraulic leveling jacks, uh, but in the Numar world, they would definitely recommend that you have your jacks deployed after you put your slides out and then you pull your slides back in, have your airbags so the coach will have been turned on, airbags uh, fully inflated, and then pull your slides in. But take a look at all of this walking space. I mean, this is really huge room to be able to get back here into this bathroom. So super, super roomy. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this one in. And then today as a treat, we're gonna show you what it looks like when we actually deploy the slide as well. Um, I'm not going to deploy the electric slide on the passenger's side, but I am going to deploy the driver's side slide. One of the reasons is to show you what it looks like when it's going out and when it goes down. The other reason I want to do that, though, is because I want to show you what kind of clearance you have um, on the business side of the coach when the slides are extended. We always show these coaches buttoned up and how easy they are to access underneath when you've got your slides in. But today I want to focus on showing you what it looks like with your slides out. Uh, because I think that that's really how you're gonna be operating your coach 50% of the time at least. Um, now for those of you who aren't familiar uh, with our process here at TransWest, we order a lot of coaches. You pick your floor plan, you pick your order guide, you pick your furniture, all of those things are done for you and then you can have your coach come in exactly the way you want it. If there are, you know, little uh, Lambroquin differences that you want. Maybe you want something from one package and maybe you want the, the Stratton package Lambroquins, uh, but you want to have uh, the uh, Preston, um, the Preston colored couches. You can change all of these things. So today we're looking at a Stratton interior and a Preston exterior. Okay, so Jody, I'm gonna squeeze past you. I'm gonna pop this bad boy out. And maybe we will do both. I mean, why not? But you focus on this one that's gonna have this big hydraulic slide, sliding that more floor over the top of that tile. Such a cool thing to be able to uh, have a full tile floor inside of a coach. And, uh, you know, one of the things that, you know, Numar was able to do with this is, for those of you that are coastal that are gonna spend a lot of time in Florida or down in Baja, not having sand in your carpet's just a really nice feature. Um, I mean, that's really what it comes down to, just less maintenance. Okay, so that's all the way out. 
Uh, it should make it a little bit easier for Jody to show you the HWH controls here for your hydraulic leveling jack and also an outlet that we never cover because you can never see it, it's behind that slide. So there's an outlet down there on the left. Here you've got your power heated mirrors, uh, you've got your power windows, you've got your tag dump, um, you've got your cup holders, and again, uh oh, I don't have a coach on, I can't open the windows, that makes sense. Uh, here we've got our fog lights, our dome lights, and then you'll see here we've got the chassis and house battery boost, automatic headlights, which is really, really nice, a charging dock here for your phone. So if you are going down the road, you can put your phone into the charging dock, get your phone charged. And then we are gonna turn the coach on for just a second so I can show you one of my favorite features. Um, I have to tell you, I'm a really big fan. Uh, Spartan and Freightliner both updated their dash this year. This is the Freightliner dash. This digital glass dash gives you the ability to really see so many things uh, on your coach. So we've got tire pressure monitoring system. Let's start that up. You can see your RPMs, you can see your miles per hour. There's a digital display for your miles per hour. Uh, you also have now the ability to go into and change your comfort drive without actually having to touch anything other than one button. But your house, uh, your house uh, feature when you go back to your home screen allows you to change, to look at additional gauges so if you want to be able to see your transmission or your coolant temperature, all of those things, your engine load, all of those things are available in the center dash here. Again, your steering effort can be controlled uh, just with the touch of one button. So that comfort drive steering, which keeps this wheel straight, regardless of the gale force winds that are, up, that are hitting the side of your coach, giving you so much less driver fatigue. You can adjust that right here. You've got your fuel economy as well. You also are gonna have your mobile eye, which is gonna be uh, this little guy here in the front. You can see that through that shade. Can you see that, Jody? So that's gonna be your lane tracking package, right? And then you also have your tire pressure, which we talked about, and then also road watch. So road watch is, of course, gonna be your cruise control. Um, so just really, really nice. You've got two trip computers. You can go into your vehicle settings and change, uh, you know, whether or not you want it to be in Fahrenheit or Celsius. But I just really think that this glass dash is fantastic. And they've also integrated, again, your, uh, your touch controls here on your steering column to answer and hang up your phone because we know people are using that all the time. And then most importantly, we've gone to a system here where not only do we have these great features, for instance, like your um, camera control where you've got your 360 degree camera. So you can see that here. You can change your different views. Um, but we also are going to have things like uh, Apple CarPlay. So not only do we have it available to have radio, satellite radio, we can also Bluetooth into our pairing devices. We also now have Apple CarPlay available. And this Sirius satellite radio comes with three months of free subscription for you, which is super nice. Um, and then also, I think most importantly, above here, oh no, I forgot one thing. That's what it was. I was like, what am I forgetting? Engine brake. So a three-stage engine brake. This is off, on. You can see it's set to low right here, so you can see what your engine brake is set to. You can also see the charge of your phone. You can see that I'm on medium now, and then I'm on high. So you've got your engine brake there, and then you can also see when I change gears. So if I put this coach into reverse, it's going to show up here. I'm going to have that noise that I hear from behind me. My rear view camera will turn on. I love these nice predictive guidelines. This is a big deal. This tells you how close you are to something because it's kind of a vague uh, picture from there. But again, everything is on full display. And this, uh, in 2023, they actually added a def gauge here. So you can see not only your fuel, but your def on one screen. So distance to empty, 898 miles. Voltage, 13.8 volts. Uh, odometer 1,159 miles everything that you need is in this great very crystal clear dash and the way I can tell you that I know that this dash is crystal clear is that I looked down at my notes today and realized I don't have my glasses on so if I can read that dash and I can't read my notes that speaks very highly of the clarity of the dash uh, so in here you'll see we have two of these drawers great place to keep your sunglasses cell phone Got another pocket here, you can put that there. Jody's like, yeah, put that measuring tape in there and keep it there, Katie. Uh, <laughs> you've got your climate control, 
all of your visor control. I do have the day shade down right now. Um, and then you can also, you still have your fans in the front, but they're just over here and they don't have that cute little drop down with the articulating fan like they used to. But we're gonna go ahead and turn that off right now. Um, now, I'm gonna turn my generator off and I've noticed that if I do that, I cannot tend to close my awnings, but since they're deployed, we'll just leave them out for the day. Um, so I can turn my generator off here. I can also turn it off outside. Um, so very nice that I don't actually have to get out of my coach to go outside and turn my generator on or to prime it. I can do it right here from inside. And then here, I just wanted to show your six-way power seat. And then those two buttons on the right and left are gonna be for the pitch of the back of the chair or to deploy your recliner. So this is a full-fledged recliner with really nice um, adjustable armrests on both sides. The way that you release those, there's a little uh, tab that you reach in here and push this button. So sometimes people have a hard time finding it. And again, the handle on this furniture is so nice and so durable, but still feels like such genuine uh, leather. So that was a problem that we ran into last year. I think some people felt like the material was a little bit plasticky. Uh, so this is the replacement again for Camelot is Stratton and it is just a gorgeous, gorgeous coach. Especially if you pan back Jody and just show like with that beautiful new glass tile, this driftwood, this is such a beautiful interior on this RV. Now here on the uh, outside driver or passenger side seat before we leave, I am gonna go ahead and put the desk back. So we just drop this down, push this back like this, and there goes your desk. And now that will allow us to see another wireless charging pad, two USB ports, two more USB ports, two 110 outlets, and a cup holder here. The other thing that I can show you here is another great little pocket. And then this is how you turn your house battery on and off. And then this is to unlock and lock your bays. And then this is to turn on your step well light. So I've got these illuminated. I'm gonna show that to you. Oh, here. So there's a step cover here. So if you're worried about falling in the hole, you don't need to fall in the hole. You can deploy that while you're in motion. Another nice feature is the doorbell. Oh, it didn't door. There it goes. There's your doorbell. I was pushing the number four. Now, what would the number four be on there for? That's because you can change your uh, code so that you can leave your coach, leave your keys inside, and then have your own code for entry. You can lock and unlock your doors as well as your bays from this keypad outside, which is super nice. Uh, so here's a little storage here for you. I don't know, you can keep you know mosquito repellent in there. Again, we talked about those things like birding books and stuff like that, uh, maybe your umbrella or you could keep like a whole entire bag of cat food or dog food in here. I mean, the sky's the limit, you know, dog dishes, leashes. Um, this wonderful screen is so nice. And this is deployable, so you can, you can lift this um, so that when you're driving down that road and you're looking at that beautiful uh, windshield, you can see out that window to the right as well as in front of you. And then also you can keep this closed and still hand things in and out. So if you do have a fine furry friend that you don't want to escape, you can keep them in. And again, we did talk about this earlier. Again, this is the 4369. Oh shoot, I just rattled it. Show them, Jody. So this has got a bounce sensor. Um, people always think it's a wind sensor. There is nothing that is tracking how much it's uh, blowing. What it's tracking is the bounce. And so when I closed that door, it bounced and automatically retracted the sunshade or the shade. But that's great. It shows you how big they are and how nicely they go in. Now here, if you're trying to turn right or left, you have your side cameras. You've got your beautiful chrome convex mirrors. Uh, you also have a new headlight starting in 2023 with brighter illumination uh, and also automatic high beam control. Um, here you will have your 10 kilowatt uh, quiet diesel generator. So this is a lot of wattage. Um, in 2024, you do have an option for a Victron, a second uh, inverter and a dual lithium ion battery pack. So a second inverter that could power your air conditioner. This coach only has the eight AGMs. Uh, this is a fill for your 150 gallon fuel capacity. On the 43 foot Dutch stars, you do get 143. I'm sorry, 150 gallon fuel capacity over 100 gallon fuel capacity. So that's a nice benefit. You get that 10 kilowatt generator instead of the eight. But like I said, today I wanted to show you 
accessibility while you're camping to your stuff with your slides deployed. So this it can be either a refrigerator and a freezer, a refrigerator and a refrigerator, a freezer and a freezer. It could be empty and turned off, whatever you want, but you have access to it as well as a nice shelf up above. And then starting in 2023, we also made it much easier to close our doors. So we still have a great seal, but we were able to do it without making them so hard to close. Now we are gonna leave this one open so that when we get through to the other side, we can see the daylight. And then these are 1,000 pound rated uh, slides on this coach. Uh, we have two out of the three. Uh, you could choose to have that third one installed. Uh, that's something that we can do uh, as a factory option here at the dealership. Uh, I like them not powered because they're super easy to close. One of my favorite things, those were the little uh, pipes for your uh, vacuum cleaning system. And then here you can see that's where those road vac pack, uh, pipes would be uh, plugged into. You've got some of this extra tile. Again, the tile changed for the Stratton interior from Camelot last year as well. And then here we have our um, we have our controls here for our uh, awnings and you can see there's a red light because one of them's in and there's a green light because one of them is out. You've got some outlets out here as well. And then here we have a great place for all of your bartending needs. Top shelf for the good booze, bottom shelf for the mixers, or you could have tire shine, whatever floats your boat. Now we did not cover this uh, and I think that this is a nice feature um, I really like the sound bar out here. You've got a nice Samsung 43 inch television. Over here on the left, you've got two USB ports and two 110 outlets. Uh, as you can see down below, you can play your TV uh, or you could play your dash radio, whatever you'd like at this, uh, at this sound bar. One of the things about um, this being higher is that you can access it with having, like we usually put a big table out in front with all of our stuff. Um, so you wouldn't have to move anything to open up one of these doors because it is up high. I like them down low for the sitting position, but you know, either way, I mean, first world problems, right? Where do I put my TV on the outside of my RV? Um, okay, so as we can see, this is a inset, beautiful Alcoa, all aluminum rim. Um, this is gonna be a 3 uh, 15 in the front we've got 305 so big wide tire back here uh, there are two on this drive axle and then on this rear axle you'll see how it's out that is because this is a passive tag when you turn this wheel and you're going under 20 miles an hour it is actually going to turn with you making from here in the middle of that wheel to the front uh oh to the front of this wheel here a very small turning radius so much smaller to have your turning radius be from this wheel versus from being from this wheel. So big difference if you're looking for maneuverability and ability to get into a parking spot easily, this is a nice benefit. Class A's are much easier to steer into parking spots than Super C's. I'm speaking from experience. Um, they're both fine. Uh, but maneuverability in a class A is certainly fantastic. Uh, also, you know, keep in mind if you have a second axle on one of our super C's, you've got a twin screw. Uh, so you've got eight tires back here instead of six. So a little more in terms of overall cost, but also weight. And then that makes it much harder to turn those larger engines. I'm sorry, those larger RVs, but it's also giving you a lot more grip. You can engage both of those sets of wheels. So if you want something that's got a ton of grip, you can get a Supreme Air, for instance, uh, if you've got a heavy payload. Uh, so here's your def tank, big def tank. Um, I don't know if it's so important. It's dual fill. That's a super nice feature. So 13 gallon def, 150 gallon fuel capacity once again. Here's your chassis batteries back here, and then your on and off switch for your chassis is in this bay. You need to make sure those are both on or off. If you only do one or the other, you're gonna have issues. Uh, now this coach has a V-Ride. V-Ride gives you stability going through the mountains. Uh, it basically puts the weight of the chassis outside as opposed to inside, so it distributes that weight so that you've got better stability. And then it also has what's called brake sync. And what brake sync means is that this little line here is actually separately charged 
from the regular airline that goes to your brakes so that if you do have failure, your coach will stop, but you'll still have braking power for your Blue Ox system. And then you've got, of course, your seven pin connector. And again, oh, I just closed it, shoot. I had it staged so I could just pull it open. Uh, you have a big side radiator, so you have full access here to the back. Now keep in mind, this overflow container for your Oasis does not need to be full. It just can't be below this line right here. So if you do say that you've watched my video, I will give you a free gallon of Oasis juice. It's much better to have with you than to try to get Amazon to deliver it to the middle of the forest. Uh, there's a nice little LED light in here. Also a GFI outlet that is covered and easy access to a lot of your different filter systems. And again, we talked about this, uh, this coach, but this is a 450 horsepower Freightliner chassis. This is the XCR chassis. This is going to have a 15,000 pound towing capacity. It has ultra steer. Again, that's gonna give you that better turning radius, that better maneuverability. It is side radiator and it has 1,250 foot pounds of torque. So. 400 horsepower, 1250 torque, 15,000 pound towing capacity, dual fill fuel and def. Uh, this is a little compartment here to keep your spare hoses in, maybe your black water hose. Uh, this has SantaCon, so you don't necessarily need one, but it's always good to have a backup. But keep gloves in there for your def fluid. That's that stuff's stinky. Um, now I wanted to show this to you. So here we have your awnings deployed. So this is the one and it looked like I almost didn't have it deployed at all from inside, but as you can see, I have it deployed quite far out, giving you great sun protection. And then that's a fully extended uh, version of the same thing. And then in between the two of these, you see up here are 360 cameras. So that overhead camera operates very much the same as your vehicle does, whether you've got a Tesla, a Mercedes, a Toyota, everybody seems to have a 360 view camera today. And if you wanna hit that picnic table on purpose, man, can you aim really good with that camera system? I'll tell you. Okay, so now here's where we get to the exciting stuff. I never do this and I really wanted to show how easy is it to get here in here when your slides are out? Well, this drawer drop, drops down. So you can still have that slide, slide opening drawer as opposed to ones that pop up. And you have great access here to be able to get into this bay. the space. nice LED light whole house water filter. Uh, you've got a little uh, grommet here so you can run your city water here. It is on a power retracting line. So you just push this button and it pulls it right in and brings it back to the storage position. You've got the SantaCon system which goes down through this hole so you don't have to have it open. Uh, you can keep your door closed and then when you're traveling you just put this back into place. I'm gonna do that now so we don't forget to do it down the road. Uh, and then also you've got a connection here for your black water tank. You've got your hot and cold shower and your low point drains for your hot, your cold and your tank rinse. Um, and then as you see, you've got your sewage rinse is very easily accessible and you can turn your SantaCon on right from here as well as your water pump. So very, very cool water bay, very complete, very accessible, even with this big slide out. And this slide is a whole, uh, Coach practically all the way up through to the bathroom. So it's a really big slide giving you a ton of extra room in this RV. In this bay, as you can see, another power reel. We have our surge protector. We have our cable access. And then if we push this, what's so nice about this is this is door mounted. So you just bring your uh, power line in right there. That is a 50 foot cord. It's center fit, which is nice. And then here, we have our Oasis dual loop Chinook system. Now what that means, again, we talked about that hydronic heat. It's coming out of your loops here. It's running underneath, keeping this bay nice and warm so your water lines don't freeze. And as you can see, it's very easy to diagnose. Everything is right here at the front. So very cool feature. This is what gives you an endless hot water and endless hot. I wanted to show this to you from both sides because I think this is the big slide, right? If I get camping and I put my slide out but I forgot to get my lawn chairs and they're in the middle, I can still access this entire slide from either side. And it's super easy to close. I love the non-power slides. 
If you order a London Air from me, I'll tell you to get them without power as well. Uh, here we go, I wanted to show you this. That's that pass-through. And then you can also see our STAR Foundation, which stands for Strong, True, and Robust. That is what's taking this heavy weight of this slide and putting it towards the center of the coach. Again, that being reinforced with V-Ride, giving you a very easy to drive, very comfortable driving experience. And that star foundation is also what allows us to raise up off the chassis rail and gives you a three inch subfloor, keeping it quiet going down the road, warm in the winter and cool in the summer. There's your eight AGM batteries. Of course, they're daisy chained. Um, that's 800 amp hours of storage. Um, I would recommend allowing us to put four, one, four 190 watt panels on top of this coach. Larger coaches, I say four panels. I have a 40 foot coach. I go with three panels more than enough, but with that third AC, I think you could do four panels. Four panels factory ordered are going to be 440 watts. Four panels from me is going to be 570 watts. So if you want to save some money and get some more power, that's how you would do it. You get those 190 watt panels. Again, uh, oh, am I doing math badly? I'm doing math really badly. So four 190 watt panels is going to be 760. Uh, not so that 570 is just the three panels. Again, four panels from Newmars 440. So way better wattage coming from the ZAMP system that we'll install here for you at the dealership. Uh, again, really nice lighting features. If you need to get everything out of your coach at night, you've got great docking lights. Um, here we have, again, we talked about some extra fuses, everything being very well labeled, super concise, very clear, easy to see. Um, that side camera here, and then again, um, all new headlights. This is stock number 5N230657, again, 5N230657. Uh, this is a 2024 Newmar Dutch Star 4369. Um, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. You can also email or text me. Let me know how I can get you out on the road and camping. And thank you so much for sharing some time with me on Monday.